boys, it's yo, one day out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones, and I'm welcoming you back to the Republic of Jordan. This time, I, uh, I'm welcoming you back to the Republic of Jordan in my playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys can give me a huge favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. And let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Um, Alright, so question of the video for this one. Um, I would love to know what is, um... What is your favorite and least favorite level in all Mario games? I'd love to know. In all Mario platformers, I'd love to know your favorite and least favorite level. And why? We're gonna do the last two stars of Hobby Hills Galaxy. The last two green stars here. And after that, we'll do the other stuff that we have to do in World 3. Excuse me. It looks like Green Star 2 is right there, so it sounds pretty self-explanatory. Sounds like we can get it pretty easily. As long as we do that, I think we have to time a triple jump to get this one. This one is a little bit tricky. I do remember it being kind of tricky to get, but at the same time, it's really not that hard. Especially if you know what you're doing. This is the same music as um, Super Mario World's version of. Excuse me, of both house levels. Just in case you guys did not know. But I never really played the old 2D classics. I have played the original Super Mario Bros. before. Oh my goodness, that was easy. That was way too easy of a green star. I expected it to be a lot harder than that. I thought it was going to be a lot more challenging than that, but... Like I said, these green stars, they're not difficult. They're, some of them are just more time consuming than others. We have one more green star left to get to this area, but... Super Mario World's Boo Houses had music like this. The same music as this galaxy. I never really played the old 2D classics. Just because the NES games and the Super Nintendo games, they always felt more slippery to me than what these games do. Because the games I play, like these games, um, I can do more easily in the newer Mario games than, I can, than what I can in um, the 2D and classics, than what I can in the NES and Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo games. Because those always felt slippery to me, and because I grew up with a Wii, a Wii U, and a Switch, because those had more polished graphics, and those were made better, so it felt like a downgrade moving to like Nintendo 64 games or Super Nintendo games, or going to um, or NES games, because. If I would play those, if I would, because those other consoles were made before I was born, and of course I was born in 2002, and the Wii came out in 2006, Wii U came out in 2012, the Switch came out in 2017, and I was born in 2002. And of course the Nintendo 64 came out in 1996, and then of course the Super Nintendo came out in, I think, 1990? I don't really know. I know the NES was made in 1985. I played Mike Tyson's Punch Out on the NES just because I, down I downloaded it on my Wii just because I like that game and Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And I have played the original Super Mario Bros. before. So I'm kind of going to, um. That's what I wanted to tell you about. I know the NES came out in 1985. I know the Nintendo 64 came out in 1996. I know the GameCube came out in 2001. I'm not sure when Super Nintendo came out. I think it's 1990 was the year that the Super Nintendo came out, but I know the NES came out in 1985. 
and that was when the first Mario platformer was made, which was Super Mario Bros. 3 DS. Okay, so... Because I never really played the EDS games or the Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 games because... Which, I played like the original Super Mario Bros because I liked that game okay, but I never really made it far in that game, but it was a pretty fun experience. Alright. Hey. The thing about this green star right here is if you mess up once, it will automatically cause you to die. That's the thing about this green star that I, have, that I really don't like. It's that if you mess up at it once, it will automatically cause you to die. <laughs> and if you make one mistake at trying to get this green star, if you, and if you die, you go all the way back here. Which sucks. <laughs> And this green star really is annoying to get. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> I mean... It ain't really that difficult. Sick, I messed up. See, I messed up. See, I told you. Why am I not, why am I failing? Why am I not doing good at this green star? Hopefully I can learn a pattern of which of these guys move so I don't fall in the black hole. Cause I really hate these guys so much that eat through the carpet. Mm -hmm. Imagine if these guys were real, how, you know, I would be scared if those guys were real. Thankfully they're not real. I'm glad that they're not real, but still. tight window, maybe. Let's try this again, shall we? I really hate those guys that eat through the carpet, cause they're annoying! Hopefully I can learn a pattern so I'll know how to avoid those guys. I tried to triple jump, I'm not even kidding! I tried to Triple jump! I'm not even kidding! Woo! Ah, this is frustrating. This is frustrating. I really don't like this green star, like I said. How's it been so difficult to get? This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I didn't think it's gonna be that bad, because normally I'm not that bad at doing triple jumps. Because normally I'm not that bad at getting the green stars. I really have to concentrate. After several tries, we finally got it! Yes! We got it after several tries. That was terrible. That was one of the more annoying, one of the more difficult green stars to get in the game. Alright, Wii games, Wii U games, and Switch games, all three of those consoles were, are so smooth with their controls. And I felt like the NES, the Super Nintendo, and the Nintendo 64 were very slippery. Just like I felt like Mike Tyson's Punch Out on the NES was slippery compared to like Punch Out Wii. I'm not saying this. It's mainly the Nintendo, it's mainly the Super Mario, which I've never played Super Mario 64 DS, but I know that's the 3D Mario game for the DS. Excuse me. Alright, so the first green star is there. It shouldn't be too difficult to get. 
It shouldn't be. It should be pretty. It should. We know how to control the star ball. It's pretty easy to control. We just have to use your Wii Remote controls. We know this is a pretty easy level. I do remember levels like this in the original Super Mario Galaxy game. And those levels in that game, they were that wasn't that difficult. No. They were fun. It's pretty fun to control this, I think, but I mean I wouldn't say it's Okay, this part is gonna, I need a little bit of concentration for you. That was, that was easy, wow. Usually, sometimes that is a little bit tricky to get. That is sometimes a little bit tricky, but, I mean, it's not difficult, but it is a little tricky sometimes to get that. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys and have a good one. And leave a, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.